Obard School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. Topic number 11, Job Practice. Square groove weld, butt joint, overhead position with filler metal. The objective of this job practice is to produce quality square groove welds on 16 and 11 gauge mild steel in the overhead position. The finished welds will look similar to those produced in the flat position. However, the overhead position is much more difficult and special care must be taken to achieve full penetration. The weld symbol for this topic is the same as those used in previous topics. Even though the position has changed, the weld and its symbol are the same. Material. 16 and 11 gauge mild steel. Electrode, 1% thoriated tungsten, 1 8 inch diameter. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Filler metal, E70S3, 1 16th inch for 16 gauge, 1 8 inch for 11 gauge. Equipment, power source, AC-DC combination. Collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 50 to 60 for 16 gauge, and 85 to 95 for 11 gauge. Hot start, four. Post purge, 10 to 15 seconds. High frequency, automatic. High frequency control setting, 50. Gas flow rate, 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, one to two electrode diameters. The workpiece for this part of the job practice is a square groove butt joint tack welded at one end. The root opening should be one thirty seconds inch wide. When the workpiece has been tack welded without filler metal, you may want to tack weld a small plate to one side of the workpiece to aid in clamping to the fixture. Now this weld will be deposited in the overhead position on the underside of a horizontal surface. The tack welded end should be nearest to you. Now this is a difficult position for welding because the molten metal tends to fall and it is uncomfortable to work overhead. It takes much care and practice to master it. The work angle will be 90 degrees. The travel angle will be 5 degrees push. The filler rod will be fed in at a 20 to 25 degree angle directly under the axis of the joint. Start the arc and hold as close an arc length as possible, but be careful not to contaminate the electrode. Do not allow the weld area to become overheated or the root side will become concave. The finished weld should be one electrode diameter wide and have a small root reinforcement. The workpiece for this portion of the job practice is made of two pieces of 11 gauge mild steel. Tack weld the joint at one end with filler metal to form a butt joint with a 3 seconds inch root opening. Again, a small plate may be added to one side to aid in clamping. Reset the current to 85 to 95 amps and then select a 1 8 inch diameter filler rod. Deposit this weld in the same manner as for the 16 gauge material. The puddle will be slightly larger, which improves visibility. Hold the filler rod stationary and move the torch evenly along the joint.
The finished weld face will be one and a half electro diameters wide and convex. The root side of the joint will be flat to slightly concave with good fusion into both edges. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.